what's going on guys, Kaivox here, and you're thinking about getting the new Generation 3 wall connector. That's what we're gonna talk about today. I, uh, I recently ordered my Model 3, and uh, my wife and I decided, or you know, we're like, you know what, we got the new car, let's uh let's get the wall connector so what we did is we ordered the gen 2 i i had everything set up everything was ready to go we had it in i was super excited about installing it we basically had everything ready we it was literally the next day i was going to install the actual charger i sit down edit some videos and i uh i noticed that somebody posted that there's a new wall connector that just came out or that's coming at that was that just had just come out i think it was like the 15th or the 12th or something like that and i had literally just gotten mine in the week before i opened it i looked through all the parts i was super excited i was like oh it's gonna be so great <sighs> needless to say i got rid of that one um i got all of the money back for it which was nice and i ended up getting this one was that a good choice um i'm gonna let you know once we open this guy up and see how it is um, I haven't been able to find anything else online about this yet, so pretty excited. Um, I I saw that it had a tempered glass, white white tempered glass um, faceplate, and I was just like, oh man, I gotta have that. Mm. As you can tell, though, the the box is like tiny. This looks like an Apple product now, so so it's definitely the lightweight cable that it comes with, as opposed to the uh, the 24. This is an 18. It's also much. Uh, less like a lower gauge, I guess higher gauge. It's a thinner, it's a thinner cable. Um, so let's uh, let's pop this, let's, let's let's open this guy up and see see how it looks. It definitely has more of an Apple design to it. Um, I definitely think that they were channeling uh, the Apple gods. It's super simple, blacked out, um, designed in California. It has a nice little Tesla sticker right here, as you can see, uh, just like the last one did, which. You know, it's nice, but needless to say, this box is literally at least half the size and about half the weight of the previous connector. All right. So it smells really good in here. Uh, <laughs> there's something weird. I know you guys can't smell it right now, but anyway, um, I am very... Ooh, there was like a little black spot on it. I was like, what is that black spot? That better come off. Did you see my face? Like. <laughs> we got a nice little message here from uh, from Tesla. Thank you for accelerating the world's transition to sustainable energy. Uh, you're welcome. As far as looks go, the look of this charger is just, it's way nicer. And what I've seen from other like videos of how to install it and stuff like that from Tesla, because as soon as this came out, I started doing a ton of research. Um, you, it doesn't really look white, but I feel like in some angles, like right here, it kind of looks a little silver. It definitely reflects a lot of a lot of like the color that it's um, that it's showing. But as you can see, it is like super white. I got a lot of lights here, obviously, so you're definitely gonna get a lot of that reflection. But it definitely looks like super white, and in person, it looks a lot more white than it does in the images. I feel like in the images, it looks a little bit more um, grayish as opposed to as white as it actually is. Um, I was kind of worried about that because I, I wanted it to be white. I, I, I like the, the tempered white glass idea. It obviously comes with the instruction sheet. Uh, this is the quick start guide. Um, yep, I don't want to show you guys the QR code on there. I don't know if it really matters. Um, this is the, the template to mount it up on the wall, um, which the other one came with too. It was a part of the, the packaging, which was very smart on how they did that. And then here, here's the charger itself. So the pricing for this is exactly the same as the previous one. So it's $500, $500 US. Um, and in my opinion, like visually it looks better. It seems like it has less components. I know that there are other parts inside of here. Um, most of the parts are inside of here for the mounting. Cause if you look at the box, there's no mounting, there's no, there's nothing else. But as you can see, this, this cable is like very, very thin. The cable itself is only a, a half an inch thick, which like, it feels pretty much like the, um, like the mobile connector. It's, I think it may be a little bit thicker, but like it's, it's so light. 
like it's it's extremely light. So one of the positives about this is that um, the cable is more manageable. It's a lot lighter, easier to handle. The other one wasn't very hard, but like weight wise, it it was significantly heavier than this. Ooh, I just found something. So um, the way that you take this piece off here, I'm surprised they didn't put like a coating on it, but I guess I know, I understand why they didn't put a cover over it because then if you did, it, it wouldn't look as nice when you open it. It wouldn't have that like reveal, right? So if we pop this guy, I like this. I like that they put a, uh, they put a, a tie here, right? They put this little piece of plastic so that you could pull it out. Good job, guys. Here's what's cool about this is that there is, um, there's no messing around, messing about in here. The previous one you had to, um, there was basically two parts to it that you had to like kind of wire up. It all depended on, on if you were using the back plate. Um, so this is all of the hardware for this. We have some, uh, some wall screws and then some um, back plate to uh, face plate mounting screws and that's it. So one of the main differences, one of the main differences besides the um, the length of the cable and the thickness of the cable is that this one, you can only go as high as a 60 amp breaker, which is 48 amps max, which all current vehicles, that is the max anyway. Um, the only advantage of having the old ones or the gen two would be that um, you can then hook up a 100 amp breaker to it, um, which would then give you 80 amp charging, which is only capable on certain models. Most of the people right now have model threes. Um, that is obviously the most popular as of um, the beginning of 2020. That is the most popular. We'll, we'll see you when the model Y comes out. Anybody that sees this, if you're watching this, you're either trying to figure out if um, you should upgrade, which I don't think you should. If you have a Gen 2, I don't think that this is worth it. Now, if you don't have a Gen 2 and you can live with 18 feet of cable, if that'll reach where you have to charge, then this is great. This is awesome. Um, I haven't talked about the Wi-Fi capability of it yet. Um, and also for for storefronts and stuff like that and, and any sort of um, multi setup chargers, it's gonna be great because uh, it's gonna be great because uh, with this guy you can have up to 16 um, with the with the load sharing um, and it's all wireless. You don't have to run an 18 gauge um, twisted pair to each of them, uh, which was the main reason that I wanted. Like I was like, oh, I'm gonna get the the think the, the wall connector so that I could then upgrade when I get a, a, a hopefully in like the next five years or so, I can get a, a second Tesla and be able to charge both of them and, and not have my house, you know, overload or anything. So my goal was to, in the future, at some point, get a second wall connector. Um, and then when I saw this one, I was just like, oh my God, I made the wrong decision. Why didn't I wait another week or so? Um, so yeah, tomorrow I will be installing this and um, I'm gonna do a quick little video on it just to show you guys how it looks. Um, and if it's, you know, if it, if it's any better, which for me, it's going to work perfectly. I, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be great. The gen two definitely seemed a little bit more heavy duty. Um, it seemed like it was made out of, uh, less plasticky materials. Like this is a lot, this is all plastic, um, minus obviously the, the parts where the screws go in or obviously the screws in there and the mounting pieces are metal, but, um, everything else on this is, is plasticky. Um, which on the, the Gen 2, there was a lot more metal. It was more heavy duty. Um, this one you can still either go in from the, the back right here, which are these the two connectors here. Uh, you can go in from the top and you can go in from the bottom. Obviously not gonna be installing like two gauge wire into this because you don't need the amperage. You, you don't need it to be that high. Here's what it comes with. This is all the mounting hardware. Um, so the four black screws are for mounting the face plate to the, uh, to the back plate. The two bigger screws are for mounting it into the wall and the, um, the Allen is for screwing those in. So it pretty much comes with everything you need. Oh yeah, it also comes with a, uh, a zip tie to zip tie the wires on here. There really isn't much to say here, right? Um, if you are watching this, you either are thinking about getting it, which if you have the Gen 2, there's really no no need to upgrade. If you don't have the Gen 2 and you're thinking about getting one, I think it's, it's a beautiful product. 
Um, it's going to, I mean, knowing Tesla, it's going to charge it. It's, it's going to charge fine. It's not going to, it's not going to be any worse. Um, it has Wi-Fi, So if they ever figure something out, do some sort of updates, um, allow you to maybe lock it out. If you have like a, like if you own a store or something and you have charging outside, uh, that, you know, you're paying for and, um, you don't want people charging overnight or something, I guess th they can allow you to put it on a schedule to only maybe work during business hours. Um, there are options like that, that they can do. Um, obviously firmware updates that that's the whole thing. It's going to be able to, um, update just like the car, our cars do, which, you know, why not? Did I mention that I was like pissed when this came out because there was like no warning. It was like the other one had been out for like four years or whatever. And I was just like, nah, they'll probably update it. Like maybe next year or something. Ooh, they have a different type of gasket on here. There's a little gasket that rides all the way around this right here. I really like the way that they, they made this because um, these two are actually, it's almost like a plug. It's almost like a um, like an outlet where you have the two, um, I believe this is, yeah, this, okay. So this is line one and two right here. And then this is the ground um, that go into these two slots right here, line one and two, and then the ground right there. It's super simple, but if you do have a higher gauge wire, it may not fit in here properly. Um, just keep that in mind. Uh, you can oversize it, but I would definitely double check to make sure that it will fit in here. One other thing that I noticed that is different, um, at least compared to the other silver one, is that this is black instead of having the, um, it doesn't have like a white top or anything, which would have kind of been cool, right? If it had like a white um, thing here. Still has a little button. And yeah, it doesn't seem like this has changed at all, but this cable, like look at how thin this cable is, it's just, for like the wall connector, I was just like, wow, that's really, that's really nice. Y'all, you know, it's, it's pretty sweet. I'm hyped. <laughs> I am super excited about this. I, I hope you guys are too. Um, I, I love, I love tech um, and I love new stuff. I, uh, I, I, I'm pretty excited about it. I know that the argument is uh, why, why do you need to connect to it if you could just check your charging from the car? Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. You can do that. But possibly in the future when they, you know, come up with new ideas. This is just another way that they can try to come up with new things, maybe different charging profiles, maybe if they figure out that, you know, I mean, obviously you can still do a lot from your car and it's, this isn't, this isn't for everyone. I definitely don't think that everyone needs a wall connector. It's just, if you can afford it, um, I definitely recommend it. If you want to have an extra charger that can charge at the maximum rate, um, I, I think that this is a better investment than the um, than the NEMA charger. Um, one, I, I want to keep that in the car in case I ever need a, an emergency charge for anything. Um, I think that it's it's a better solution. It's like $250 for that thing if you're going to buy one yourself um, to have a second one, to have one in, at home and one in the car. Um, so this, obviously, it's double the price. So roughly double the price. It, it really all depends. I, I still think that that is the best investment for the money. I think that that gives you the the most bang for your buck. Obviously, that's like getting the um, the iPhone 11 or the iPhone 11 Pro. This is like the Pro that is like the iPhone 11. You get all you, you get basically all the benefits in the iPhone 11. But the 11 Pro just gives you those extra little things. It looks a little nicer has a couple little features here and there, but that's really it. You don't need it, um, but it's it's a great, beautiful device product. <laughs> I'm super excited. I, I It's late tonight, but tomorrow, as soon as I get home from work, I will be installing this. I almost forgot this, but uh, if you read through the owner's manual for this or the installation manual for this, they mention two lengths, the 18, and the eight and a half. Most likely they're gonna be releasing a um, an eight and a half foot or possibly an eight foot, whatever, um, length cord for this. I mean, not the cord, but a different model, just like the previous one, which I feel like I don't, I don't think they need to. I don't think you need an eight footer, um, but I guess some people that park really close to their charger all the time, it would kind of make sense to just have an eight foot because then it could just kind of hang there and they don't have to worry about looping it every time. But this thing is just like, it's so easy to loop now. Loop and to pop on there and, and just, it's just, it's so much lighter. I, I don't know if this is slightly smaller. It feels smaller to me. 
but it may just be because of this design right here where you have this very nice big cavity. The old one used to be more like this, um, which never made sense to me. This almost seems like it was designed to have the cable wrapped around it which I feel like they should have done like a while ago. I don't understand why they would do that now. Let me know down below if you guys are gonna pick up a Gen 3 or if you guys are gonna go on eBay and try to find a super expensive Gen 2 because now if you have a Gen 2, you can probably sell that thing for like 900 bucks, 1,000 bucks or something if you really wanted to. But I mean, I don't, I don't see why you would. I mean, I guess you could. I mean, if it's super used and maybe nobody would pay for it. But if it's new, if you have stock, Maybe you can do that. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, like the video if you liked it. Uh, sub subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video where we're probably gonna be installing this up on the wall. It's not gonna be like a tutorial because I don't want the liability of having you say like, oh, Kaivox taught me how to do this. He did it this way. But this is super easy. It's like, it's literally, if you have the wire hooked, or the, the wire set up, just plug it in, screw it on. Boom, bang, boom, done piece of cake. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, bye, bye, bye.